Hey guys, Artos is here casting some Caster Muse Star League Season 4. This is from the round of 24, Group F. And it is the loser's match between JYJ and Motive. The loser of this will be eliminated from the tournament. The winner, oh, they get one more shot. Uh, we have in the bottom left our Protoss player, Motive. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's a pretty good Protoss player. He is, a, he is a pro, but not someone that you hear about a whole lot. Not someone with a lot of results. Just someone that is very, very good and uh, dangerous, no doubt. In the bottom right, we have JYJ. This guy is a little bit more story. This uh, JYJ generally gets into ASL. He's been in KSL as well. RIP. Um, and he's one of the big up and coming Terrans. He's one of the guys that everyone is looking towards. Is like, okay, you're you're one of the next big guys that's supposed to go. You know, maybe win a Star League type of thing for Terran. Uh, he's not there quite yet. He doesn't quite have the stability, uh, the domination that some of the other top Terrans have had. Uh, but definitely one of the guys to look out for. It really takes years for StarCraft 1 pros to come into their own and hit that championship caliber. Well, the map is Optimizer. We have the double gases with 4,000, 1,000. We also have the very interesting additional mineral patches at the natural that you can mine out to get into the back. Uh, you know, this map, generally, you see a lot of shuttle play. Uh, you see a lot of dropship play. Uh, because it is so useful for harassment, uh, saving your own bases, uh, attacking your opponent's bases, those types of things. Uh, now, in these particular spawns, they're pretty close by land. And I think that if you do get into a situation where you can do a land-based push, if you've gotten past all the, uh, the other intricacies of the map into the kind of maxed armies, I think Terran has a pretty reasonable time pushing across this map. So, uh... That being said, as well as just looking at the overall levels of the player, I, I, I do have to say I think JYJ is favored here. We'll see, though. Uh, Motive definitely has given a lot of good players a run for their money. Still waiting for that big breakout success, though. So, looks like, uh, you know, just a regular tech up into Dragoons. No Zealots or anything here for Motive. Over on this side, a uh, very quick factory coming up for JYJ, making that marine as well. Yeah, nothing nothing really out of the ordinary. We see uh, an interesting Sim City here. This is just uh, anti-Zealot micro. You can run your marine through there where the Zealot cannot run through. But there's no Zealot on the way, and he knows that with this SCV down here. So pretty safe. Looks like JYJ getting ready uh, to take his natural expansion. Probe coming down to scout. What's up? Finding JYJ last. Let's see that single marine and put some damage on it. Ooh, I kind of like that. He put two hits on the marine. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, so what that does is it makes it so it's one less Dragoon shot. Dragoons deal 10 damage to marines, so you brought him from 40 to 30 with that probe. Now, three marines, like, exactly fight a Dragoon, so... Uh, it, sometimes you'll see in situations like this, because Terran doesn't want to build the fourth Marine, you'll see the probe fight with the Dragoon. But in addition to that, he's already put two hits onto this Marine. So that actually makes it even better. Uh, but there is a Vulture that's popped out. So if he fights with the Vulture as well, that's still an easy hold. Uh, and he's actually coming out. Look at that. Kind of interesting. Comes out, knows that there's a Dragoon coming. Gives it a couple hits. And I think he's just trying to sneak out the Vulture. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Gonna get the Vulture out of there. Uh, pretty common tactic from Terran to try to sneak a Vulture on the map so that if Protoss is out of position, you can get an extra scout done. Uh, and you can sometimes get damage done as well, killing some probes. Motive pulls back with this goon. Stragoon coming back as well, not really trying to put on any damage despite the cool early probe micro. Looks like the Vulture going to try to run up. Ooh, the goon blocks it, and he does have to turn away, just taking some shields off of him. But, you know, he has he has some intel. Saw the Nexus and everything. Motive going for the Robo. See if it's directly into Reaver or just going to go for Observer. Senken Gateway coming up as well. Some pretty safe play here for Motive. JYJ. Yeah, just Siege Tank. Some Marines. We don't see any additional. We might actually... Okay, mine's on the way. 
Let's see if he builds a second factory or if he goes for something like... Uh, I mean, I guess he could go starport. It's not very likely here. Uh, maybe an academy and an armory. Yeah, just a, another depot there. Sorry to mine. Not showing these additional marines. Ah, okay. So this is... It's not exactly FD, but it's kind of FD-esque. Like fake double factory. This looks pretty scary uh, when you see this many marines early on because they can go for a second factory and do a pretty dedicated push here it's a single one uh, with mines so he's going to put that pressure on and he is actually playing against a, a reaver opener right yeah we have the support bay going down so there's like this shuttle that's not going to help in the fight and you can see him kind of getting back into a position for anti-dropship, but that is not it. He's got to bring those Dragoons back up as this push starts to hit. Look at that. Oh, I love the walling pylon going up. That's going to prevent the siege tanks from chasing down goons. That means the goons can just kind of get pot shots at these Marines. Beautifully done. It's buying him a lot of time, but he does have to cancel it. Loses uh, the observatory as well. Oh, that was kind of a big mine hit. Very nicely done there by JYJ. But now he's going to jump in and pick off one of the tanks. Not the best micro from JYJ. Some additional mines going down. Picking off some of the goons. And at the end of the day, as long as this gets away, I think this was totally fine. Oh, no. He's going to lose it. A nice chase down there from Motive. And honestly, when all is said and done right there, I guess JYJ has a few extra workers. And that's pretty solid. Uh... Yeah, I guess, I guess there were a few probes killed there. Uh, he slows down the observatory tech, you know, forces that back. He knows that there's going to be a reaver on the way uh, via the pressure. Seeing a, a shuttle at that time tells you exactly that. Uh, if he had saved the, the one tank, I think it would have been fantastic as is. I think it's totally cool. He's uh, JYJ should be feeling reasonable about that push. Okay, so plus one on the way. He's actually taking a third geyser right now. So very, very gas heavy. Motive taking his third base. Popped a probe over. Or maybe he used the shuttle. I didn't catch it. Just kind of blocking pylon. Just harassing it a bit. And here comes the first reaver drop. There is a speed on the way for the shuttle. I wonder what JYJ's plan is here. This is really kind of an interesting game right now. He's got turret defense up. Ooh, there's actually not much here. Just that single siege tank. Drops the Zealots out. They tank the hit of the siege tank at the natural. The Zealots block that Reaver shot. And now just going ham here on the mineral line. Getting a few SCVs. More siege tanks coming back. And motive. Okay, gonna drop that out. Ooh, just barely does not get it. This Reaver not quite connecting like he would like. And now it's got enough damage on it and no Zealots to soak. So I think he has to leave. I think that's it. Maybe wait for the speed so you can just fly over the turret. Ooh, but here comes a Goliath. Gotta get out of here. Oh, nice dodging from Motive. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to make it out. Yeah. Unfortunate there for Motive. Good trapping from uh, from JYJ with the Goliaths against the turret. He was waiting for the speed upgrade. Uh, shuttle with speed will fly past the turret very, very quickly. So it would have been no problem to get out. But it finished just as he was losing it. Okay, so let's take a look at what JYJ is up to. Because he's definitely doing an offbeat strategy. This is not standard. He's going. He's got his third fact. He's going for the starport. He's got the very quick third gas. So it looks like he's going to go 2-1. Maybe he's going to go uh, for like seven factories on, on two base. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, right? He's adding a couple more factories here. This this looks like it's a factory SCV. But he does have to get that science facility up pretty quickly too. We'll check back in on him in a minute. More reavers being made for motive. Getting his forge down. He's getting the Templar archives as well. There is a new style that has emerged in Protoss vs. Terran that's very, very strong right now. Uh, where you go for Speed Shuttle Reaver, and then you go into Psy Storm. Yeah, there it is. And you do Psy Storm drops on the Mineral Line. You suicide in those shuttles. 
almost non-stop through the game. And then when Terran comes out, they will have a very strong army, but you try to whittle it down utilizing Zella Bombs and Psy Storms. So that is probably what we're going to be seeing here uh, out of motive. And it's a, it's very strong. It's very on meta right now. Uh, a, a, a good way to play. But JYJ, I personally like the way that he's approaching this uh, to play against that. The fact that he's going up his upgrades on two bases. He's got some turrets already in position. You can see he's adding a second turret here. Two turrets will shoot down a single speed shuttle um, before it gets all the way past. Like, it won't live flying over them. And he's just kind of massing up. So it's harder to get in and do the SCV damage when you're not spread on three bases. Here, he's going to be able to defend very, very well. He's got six factories. He's macroing up very strongly. And he can just kind of throw up a third command center at his leisure. Motive does have a small containing group of Dragoons. Getting a lot of High Templars over here. Zealot Legs on the way, continuing those attack upgrades. Still just three bases for him. Although it looks like he might be planning to take this as his fourth. That could be hard to hold. It's like I talked about before. When you actually push as Terran here, it's not that big an area. And don't forget, you have some of these things that block. And anytime you have this kind of extra blocking terrain, that can help Terran so that... It downs the surface area that you're going to attack into them on. So right now, Motive has set up a couple Reavers here to stop anything from running to the south. Reavers are one of the harder things to push through with mech, especially early on. And then the, just this group of Dragoons to stop anything coming from this top direction. Uh, so a good setup. EMP as well as a Vessel on the way here for JYJ. Continuing those upgrades. Do we see a third command center? No, nothing as of yet. Just mackering heavily here on six facts. His army is going to be really scary here in a minute. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We missed over here uh, the vulture drop. And it looks like, yeah, he got a, he got four, yeah, four uh, kills just with the uh, vultures killing probes. So a very nice dropship play. I was wondering what was happening. Uh, we had nothing going on there. So very annoying moment here. Uh, but he's saved most of his probes. He's at 55 workers. That's a solid amount. Uh, but the harassment is not done. A dropship coming down here to the natural. And looks like he's going to actually get even more probe kills here. <laughs> there is a cannon in the main. So this is a one-way mission here for the dropship and the vultures. Yeah, everything going to get taken out. One more probe does end up falling. Some vultures going to run around the map right now. Dragoon's going to get back into position. And see these mines that uh, JYJ is laying? These are like anti-flanking mines. This is going to prevent uh, Motive from running way around the map to hit JYJ at a different angle. So JYJ is going to attack straight across. And there's not going to be much maneuverability for Motive based on these mines. So you see Motive actually realizing, uh-oh, I got to get into a different position to hit him from a different flank. But running into some of these mines, the Observer very slowly moving to the north. And JYJ is ready. He has that plus two attack. His plus one armor is about to finish. And he is attacking. I think we just heard a vessel die there as well. So a nice pick off. He just needs to slow this push down. You really need to whittle your opponent down uh, with this style. So the push from JYJ continues. He, it, there is more supply for motive, but I trust me when I say this army is stronger. This army will fight better. You really need the right things to happen with the Protoss army. Like, get the Zealots on top of the tanks. Get a mind dry. Get some good scarabs. Get some nice Psy Storms going down. So a very slow, methodical push coming out of JYJ. I love it. This is just some fantastic plays. Got those four Goliaths with range, with plus two. The triple speed shuttle. This is going to be crucial. Here we go. He's coming in. He's making as wide of an attack path as possible. The Zealot's running in from behind the Dragoons. Here come the shuttles. Dropping some Reavers into here. But they get targeted down very quickly. Some good size storms come as well. The Zealot's going to get in here on top of a bunch of the siege tanks. A lot of splash damage, though, being dealt to these Zealots. They were quite clumped. And the Vulture is going to start to clean them up. And as all the Zealots die, the Dragoons are mincemeat. They have to pull back. I think Motive did a pretty good job with the engagement. But as you can see, the supplies have reversed. 
JYJ with the bigger army supply now and a lot of the technicality of the army of Motive Gone. Does he even have enough gateways to remake this army? No, he does not. Only eight gateways there playing against six factories when you're down this much army supply. He really needs something lucky to occur at this point. Another Reaver on the way. So still trying to get something out there that can gain him some value. A couple siege tanks moving down here. There's actually no Nexus. It looks like he was thinking about taking this base, but it never did occur. Some very cool play from JYJ, but you know what? The minerals are getting low. So let's not forget that. He's almost out of minerals in his main. His natural has been heavily saturated the whole time. He is finally going to commit to taking a third base. And based on his position, you, you're never going to see Motive be able to attack into this. He really has to utilize shuttles to get in here. Uh, but that's something that JYJ should be able to prepare for. Now, what is Motive's plan? He hasn't been able to take a fourth base himself. Again, it seems like he was thinking about this area. Uh, and then we have some mines up here, a vulture kind of blocking anything from running up and getting an additional expand. It looks like he's sending a probe finally, but this vulture is already in position to deny it. So that's a little bit sad for motive. He wanted to get up here and make a nexus, but now he's really vastly delayed because of that vulture. Now, motive does have a, a lot of high Templars here. He's got four High Templars right there. Looks like a Reaver drop trying to come down. Uh, he actually got a good Scarab off, it looks like. Gets a few SCVs. But really, even if you kill like that, 10 more SCVs, all the Mineral Patches are dying. So he actually doesn't need that many. Like 30 SCVs might give him like optimal mining based on the amount of Mineral Patches he has left right now. So really not that big a deal. All right, a lot of vultures. You can tell that JYJ is preparing for another attack. These mines are stopping any sort of counterattack. If you were to counter, you'd have to go up and around. So he's got a ton of mines there. Now bringing his entire army down, getting ready for this push. Motive trying to take a fourth, but no, this is way too close to JYJ. That is not something that's going to be takeable. A very small amount of dragoons trying to fight in here. And of course they get plastered by the 3-1 siege tanks. Motive backing up. Gonna have to cancel that Nexus. Yeah, it does get canceled. All right, some High Templars out. Kind of in the naked here. One of them gets picked off. Oh, doesn't quite get the second one. Good pullback. Motive trying to clear some of these. He knows he needs more surface area. You can't just attack headlong into Terran. You can see JYJ as well, utilizing the terrain magnificently. Sieging up behind this. Like, how do you attack these back tanks? It's going to be a very long journey here for Motive. But I think Motive is almost dead, really. His supply is so much lower. His army so much weaker right now. He's trying to come in with that flank. But is that going to be enough? JOJ rallying in the rest of his army. Some great side storms go down on these siege tanks, though. Beautifully done. But there's just no army left here for Motive. And as JYJ continues to attack forward, you can't imagine any way that Motive is going to stem this tide of Terran units. The last few Dragoons fall, and GG is called JYJ, going to eliminate Motive.